What's going on guys, Mimic here with another video. This one is gonna be about the topic of is Throne and Liberty a pay to win game or not? Now I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest review. I've got over 150 hours logged and played into the game. We'll talk a little bit about the pay to win systems in the game. Can you play the game without swiping? How free to play players can actually make Lucent. Uh, the best, usant, uh, best uses of your Lucent and then how the skill armor and trait systems work within throne of liberty and how the pay to win kind of wraps it all together real quick guys if you haven't subbed liked or commented make sure you do that i do respond to all of those comments myself i appreciate all the likes every time you guys smash that like button it pushes out my videos to other throne and liberty people who are interested in playing the game and they get to enjoy my videos just like you all and again of course if you'd like the content that i have released in the past and want to continue support to the channel go ahead and just smash the sub button as well i release videos weekly and i do occasionally stream on youtube with all of that said let's jump in so is throne and liberty pay to win right everyone's made a bunch of these videos i'm sure you guys have looked at different videos i'm gonna say it's definitely pay to progress okay and i'm gonna break it all down here so my honest review i've played this game a lot i've i've you know i know how all the systems work in the game i've studied the market i've i've made a bunch of lucent you know almost seventeen thousand lucent that i've made as a free to play player in this game um but i've also had conversations with people that are swiping and are paying to progress slash paying to win so i kind of know a little bit about if the game is pay to win or not now in a nutshell it is 100 percent pay to progress there's no way around it it's a free game so the developers of the game are going to want to create systems in the game where it's going to benefit them because people are going to want to swipe they're going to want to get uh ahead of the curve by just paying money right so you've got two sides of the field here you've got the people who play the game a lot that don't have a lot of money or maybe they do have a lot of money but they just rather play the game a lot and enjoy it the way it's meant to be played naturally right and then you've got the other side of the table they don't have a lot of time but they have a lot of resources they have a lot of money so instead of them grinding out hours and hours and hours and hours for the same item and not getting the drop they see it as well just let me pay a little and that's going to help me progress my my uh my character that's going to help me enjoy the game more because now I am able to actually get the items that I need. I'm able to get the armor pieces that I need. I'm able to get the traits that I need. And it's going to help me enjoy the game more in a faster progression way. Now, nothing in this game is pay to win in the sense that if you just buy something with money, that you're going to have an advantage over another player. There's not one single thing in this game that you can buy as a swiper that if you buy it, it's going to make you OP. That is not how this game is. If that's how it was, then 100% it would be a pay to win game. But it's not like that. It's 100% pay to progress. So let's go over the pay to win systems. And I'm going to explain why I say it's pay to progress, not pay to win. So first thing is you can come into the market. You can come into the special shop, right? and you can buy Lucent. Lucent is the in-game currency that the market uses. You can buy it here for 99,000 uh, KRW, which is roughly about $75 USD. You can get 4,100 Lucent. Now, with that being said, if you look at my market here, that same amount, if you would just divide that 17,000 by that 41, it's roughly for a 12, 16, it's roughly about maybe a little over $300 that I have made in game without swiping one cent. So if I would have just spent the $300, I would have gotten this amount of Lucent instead of actually having to grind and play the game and sell these items that I naturally got while playing the game. I hope that makes sense. So that being said, how you can pay to progress or pay to win in the game. The first thing is, Marins. We'll cover the Marins because that's a major topic and it's how you're going to get the most benefit for swiping. Marins in this game are the main material, these precious Marins. This is the main material that you use in the game to level up your skill books. Okay. 
these skills that you get in the game, you can level from green. This is a green one. And then they go blue. I don't have any blues because I've leveled them all to purple. And then they eventually go purple, which you see here. Now, the higher your skills, the more effects, the more damage you're going to do with the skill. Of course, every skill is different. So you'll want to look at the skill to figure out which ones are the best for you to level up quickest. But I have made a separate guide on that. This is just going over how you can pay to progress in the game. So if you buy those Marins on the shop, let's say you swipe and you buy $200 worth of Marins, you can come over here and you can buy these books. OK, and with these books, you can pay to progress and and level up your skills very 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 quick you can literally if you spend a few hundred dollars you can probably get all your purple skills in no time probably a few days um you know you spend maybe two or three hundred bucks you could probably get all your skills to purple now that's a rough estimate it may cost more it may cost less it all depends on what your market and what the auction house prices are going to be when na launches comes out but for kr you can see one merit here well, 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 if you get the Marin and you and you break it down, right, you dissolve the Marin, you can get blue Marins and it you, and it gives you 15 blue Marins per one Marin. Meaning if you look here, you can make 15 books with one purple. OK, one purple Marin will give you 15 books. Now, one purple Marin right now costs 100 Lucent. So that means you could buy if my math is right, you could buy 43 purple marins if you spent that $75 right because it's going to give you 4100 lucent divided by the 100 you're going to get 41 marins now if you break those down you're going to get 15 blues per marin that's going to give you 615 blue books that you can buy okay and then that is I'm telling you 615 you could literally get every skill every skill you could probably get it to yeah you could probably get every skill to purple base purple level one for 75 dollars so i was off it doesn't actually it doesn't actually cost that much so 75 bucks you can just progress all your skills to purple at least level one and you'll probably have some marins left over at the end of the day now you still need to get these parchments okay this is this is why i like the game you cannot buy with lucent or anything you cannot buy these parchments. You have to play the game to, to get these parchments. And you get them by doing events. You get them by doing dungeons. You get them a, a whole whole different ways you buy playing. You can see here, there's a parchment there for first place. If you do the blood mushroom, it's going to give you 13 parchments. Rank one is going to get Marins. So you do not need to swipe to actually progress in the game. When you swipe, though, it is going to increase the speed of which you progress, though. Okay? Because you you cannot get these parchments anyway by swiping. You can't buy anything on the market and break it down to parchments. You can't do any of that. You have to play the game to get the parchments. So even though you can technically swipe and buy a bunch of the Marins that are going to help you level your skills, you still have to play the game to get the parchments. So it's not 100% pay to progress. OK, so I just wanted to break that down for you guys that don't be discouraged that it's only seventy five dollars and any person with seventy five dollars can upgrade their skills to purple. That's not the case. You still need to play the game. You still need to collect these parchments. OK, so that's that's how you pay to progress on the skill leveling. Now, the way you pay to progress on the traits is the same way. If there is a trait you need on a item, let's say I need the heavy attack on this which i do need i could swipe and i could get the lucent that i've got here and then i could come and buy the trait and then i could just whale all the swiping and look for the same trait on a different item and just whale it and just buy 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 i'm gonna max out my traits on all of my gear i'm gonna be op because i'm gonna have all the best gear and they're gonna have all the best traits that is 100 percent right there a to progress not pay to win because anyone can do this all you're doing with your money is you're just progressing the speed of which you progress you're just and cutting out all the farming time you're just buying it right then and there so rather than me trying to do dungeons right here and get a melee hit on an item so that i can put it on this item for free i could just whale it spend a couple hundred bucks 
and then get Lucent and then come into the market and buy all the trades that I want. Okay. That's how whales are going to pay to progress or pay to win with the trades because you could just avoid having to farm them and you could just come in here and buy it. Boom. You know, bada B, bada boom, right? Real quick. Just come in here and buy it. And then there you go. You're done. So that is a pay to progress there on the trades. Now, um, there is one more way you can uh, progress with, you know, swiping. And of course, that's going to be buying your 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 weapons, buying your armor pieces. But they are very, very expensive. And although you still can do it, I don't think I think only like the whalers of the whales will do this because the prices of the stuff is just so expensive. Like, let's look at this twenty five thousand for this shroud. That's going to cost you 4,000 is 75. So 25 divided by four is what? That's five. So five times 75. That's like over $400 that you would have to spend to get this shroud. Let me tell you why that's a dumb decision. Because if you do your guild raids, you can get this shroud. Look, the Reaper's concealing shroud, right? Let's go look at the guild raids. If you just join a guild and play the game the way it's meant to be played, the game will give you the drop. It's just people that don't have the time that that have more money, but less time will not want to do that. They won't be able to log in and, and, and play hours and hours and hours. Um, let's see who drops a shroud. I believe it's um, I think it's uh, let me see. Right here, it's excavator. He drops a shroud. This is the easy boss. Like this is a very easy boss to do, and you could do it once a week with your guild. So there's a chance you could get the Reaper's Concealing Shroud without having to swipe for it. But if you don't want to log in and do the guild raids and you don't want to worry about rolling against other people that want this in your guild, then the only way you can get it is by swiping. Because now you can swipe, you can come in here and you can just buy it for 25000 Boom, you got it. So that is how the pay to progress or pay to win aspect of the game is. And let me say right now that it doesn't matter if someone is whaling in PVP, I don't think it matters. Yes, the tanks are OP right now. They're unkillable. You can tell that the whales whale. They've got 25,000 health. They, you do zero damage to them. They're unkillable. But they also do zero damage too. So they're kind of just there, right? You don't really worry about them in PVP. You just run past them and you kill all the squishies, right? Just like in any other game. But you can definitely tell who is whaling by just their HP. And when you hit them, you do literally nothing to them. So... Um, that's probably one my, one of my main gripes is the tanks are just very overtuned right now. Now, can you play this game as a free to play, play player is the pray, play to progress, pay to progress, pay to win aspect of the game going to kill the game? Absolutely not. Um, I am completely free to play. I haven't spent one cent on this game and I've made 17,000 Lucent, which is a ton of Lucent in the game. When you first start playing, Lucent's going to be like so hard to get at first. But as you get levels, as you get 50 and you start doing your dungeons, you're going to start making Lucent left and right. So don't get too caught up on trying to make Lucent early on. It's usually it's literally not going to help you until you're at least level 50. So how free to play players make Lucent? So you'll do your dungeons. I covered this in different uh different videos but you'll do your dungeons and in your dungeons you'll get drops purple drops you can get those purple drops you can take the traits off the purple drops and you can flip them on the market for lucent and you'll be flipping them to people that don't have time to play the game but they do have money so rather rather than them doing all the farming and they're going to pay you to do it for them that's how the market works none of this money goes to ncsoft none of this money is going to go to amazon it's literally a player driven auction house where one player is giving you either lucent that they farmed for in the game they sold an item and they take that same lucent and, and give it to you and they give it to you for your efforts or it's someone that doesn't have time, but they've got money, so they swipe. And then, hey, you farm this headpiece, and you're going to sell it to me for 220 Lucent. Here's your Lucent. Here's your, here's your reward. That's how the market works in this game. That's why I like it. Now, that's how free-to-play players make Lucent. They're, you're going to do your dungeons. You're going to get gear pieces. You're going to take the traits off those gear pieces, and you're going to flip them on the market for a lot of Lucent. You can see here, 
the commander's uh, skill damage is selling for 13,000 Lucent. If you get this cape and you don't need it, you can take the trade off of it and you can flip it on the market for some money. That's how the game works, okay? Now, the best uses of your Lucent, the best uses when you're fresh 50 is skills. Level your skills up first, okay? If I wanted to right now, I could come in here, go to other, go to materials, and I could wail. I, I've got 2,200 Lucent. I could buy as, you know, up to 22 of these Marins, okay? And with these 22 Marins, I could make 22 purple skill books. And then I could take those skill books to try to tap my skills to max level. But I don't want to right now. I'm saving that Lucent for other things. But I'm saying when you're fresh 50, if you don't have blue skills, you don't have purple skills, do your skills first. That is the best use of your Lucent to begin with. And then it's, you know, doing your traits later. But first, get your skills to purple. That's the best uses of your Lucent as a free-to-play player when NA launches. Get your skills up to purple first. And then, of course, the skill armor and trait system is the same thing like I mentioned before. You can come in here. Let's say I need... Uh, let's say that I need... Cooldown speed for my headgear and I am a swiper. I've got 10,000 Lucent and I want to max out my cooldown speed on my headgear. I could just come into the market. I could go to armor. I could go to headgear. I could find the piece that I need, which is this one. I could come down to where it says cooldown and boom, I'm going to spend um, 400 to buy one. I'm going to spend another 400 to buy the other. I'm going to spend another 455 to buy the other. And I'm going to tap all of those into my gear piece. And then those three will make me plus four on the cooldown speed. And I'll have 6% cooldown speed. That is how I can pay to win or pay to progress because I don't have time to do dungeons, but I have money. So I'm going to pay someone for their time. That's how this game that's how the trait system, that's how the skills work in this game. That's how the armors work in this game. That's how the market works in this game. I literally just broke down the exact way that this game works when it comes to the pay to progress or pay to win. You guys tell me if it's pay to win. I think it's definitely pay to progress, but I would not say it's pay to win. Pay to win would be like, oh, I'm going to spend 500 bucks in real life. And there's a weapon on the auction house uh, that you can only get with money. That would be pay to win and that I would never play a game like that because it's just that's not a fair that's not a fair type of game. This game is 100% pay to progress. I don't I don't think it's pay to win though. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's the video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope I broke it down for you how it all works. Maybe you got some tips and tricks out of the tips and trips out of the um, out of the video. Uh, but yeah, throw me a comment. Let me know what you guys like. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. It helps me out big time. And if you want to give me some love, all you got to do is throw me a sub. Until next time, guys, I'm making some more videos this week. Thanks so much for the watch. Peace.